Hello, Mr. Mohammed. I'm asking you to lead us in a word of prayer. Sorry, I had frozen a bit. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sefas. Good evening, everyone. Um, as we uh, start, uh, may we bow our heads and um, pray. Almighty God, we come to you. As always, before we do anything, we ask of you to be with us. We thank you for the gift of life, for the gift of living. We thank you for the gift of um, good health. And we thank you for the opportunity that you gave us today to be able to meet here and discuss matters affecting our mental health. We ask of you, as we, we, we discuss, please be with us. Give us patience, give us indulgence, give us understanding, so that whatever we discuss is of um, um, help to our lives and to the lives of those that are uh, um, we interact with. Oh God, when we finish this and that uh, you may have uh, helped us, we will always glorify your name because you are the only Alpha and Omega, the Almighty God. We we pray and believe. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, uh, Mohammed, for the prayers and I believe that God has heard us and is going to help us through the night, uh, through our sessions. Before we proceed, may, may you allow me to put uh, some across some clarifications. Number one, this is a place where we feel free to uh, share all that we want to share. We are free to share all the ideas and uh, share all the challenges that we have, uh, making sure that you, we can assure you that you are safe. We are in safe hands and whatever we share here is always remaining with us here. So the confidentiality is a key thing here, and we, may, we should try as much as possible to make sure that we observe this. Yes, uh, you, we can also um, share whatever information that we have through the call chat. Uh, there, maybe we shall not be able, to, all of us, to, to, to have a moment to talk, but we can still share through the call chat box. <clears throat> you, can, you, may be, you, you can say hi, uh, and say wherever you are listening uh, from. And as uh, I go to the other point, here we are. Either we are all experts by experience or by profession. No one is an expert. So we should just feel free to share without uh, fear of any victimization. Otherwise, I hope that we are going to have a very, very fruitful discussion with us. <clears throat> and it is not too late to invite a friend, but if it is too late, brothers and sisters here, then next Tuesday is also another, another very, very beautiful moment to welcome a friend. This one, we shall not just let it go like this uh, without our fellow brothers and friends uh, to listen to this. And uh, our topic today is about uh, stress, triggers, and false alarms, and brain Hi, Sefas, you went off. Okay, so the topic today is um, about uh, stress triggers, um, the brain, and also uh, what we call false alarms. We had intended to discuss um, uh, what we call wellness and practice activities that um, help people to cope with trauma. But unfortunately, we realized the other week that so we have a line of guests who are with us here. Ray. We have managed. Hello, Cephas, you are breaking. Okay, so we 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 realized that uh, before we go to wellness and practice, we needed uh, to have um, taken um, a dive on matters of triggers, stress triggers, um, false alarms, and how the uh, and how the brain uh, reacts. So that before we go to talking about how do we stay safe, how do we cope, then we need to ask ourselves, coping from what? And that's why we want to uh, discuss uh, matters of um, stress triggers and also false alarms. And uh, last week we discussed um, the brain, uh, thinking brain, emotional brain, and um, survival brain. And we realized um, the survival brain is um, responsible for a lot of reactions, emotional reactions that uh, uh, we undergo. And a lot of the times, 
uh, or sometimes we may find a very active uh, of, or overactive uh, survival brain. When the survival brain is, overreact is overactive, it means it shuts down the emotional and the thinking brain and it takes over because its intention is to make sure that person is safe. But sometimes it may be because of um, triggers, um, which Nancy is going to take us through that. Uh, sometimes it is what we call uh, false alarms. But again, uh, the brain is conditioned to react to situations. So let us let us hear from uh, Nancy what are triggers and how do they affect us. And then um, Manisha will talk to us about um, how does uh, the relationship between triggers and the brain. And then I will finish by talking about um, false alarms. What are false alarms and how do they affect uh, our behaviors? So Nancy, if you are ready, please take it away. Thank you, Machausa. Good evening, everyone. Uh, so as Machausa has uh, said, I'm going to talk about triggers and types of triggers. Maybe we just begin by understanding what triggers are. And uh, triggers are things that remind our bodies of a previous situation or feelings. Any vitu ambavo vina kufanya ukumbuke hisia za kitambo ama situation za kitambo zinaweza kuwa nzuri ama zikuwe mbaya. So uh, when we use our senses our brain receives information and assigns meaning to that information. So we we all know that we have five senses kila mtu ako na senses tano. Uh, that is uh, you can see, you can hear, uh, that is smelling, taste and the feeling. So wakati unaona kitu hiyo information inatumwa kwa brain then the brain interprets gives that thing meaning in that ukiona mtu the information itaenda kwa brain then when the information ina kwa changed kwa a meaningful information that's when unaweza kuinterpret who ni mwanamme na who ni mwanamke ama huyu ni baba yangu na huyu ni mama yangu huyu si mama yangu na huyu tu ni dada jirani so uh, hivyo ndivyo senses zetu zinafanya kwamba lazima zitume information kwa brain ndivyo brain iweze kubadilisha ile information iweze kuwa something that is meaningful and uh, something that is uh, interpretable so you know, interpret that what you've just seen had smelled uh, tasted or felt so uh, if it is a positive trigger our bodies are reminded of good feelings and events so kama heat trigger ni trigger ambayo ni nzuri tunakumbushwa kuhusu mambo mazuri kama vile nimetangulia kusema kwamba trigger inaweza kuwa nzuri ama mbaya so uh, kama ni trigger nzuri itakukumbusha mambo mazuri kama ni trigger mbaya itakukumbusha kuhusu mambo ba mambo mabaya kwa mfano uh, ukisikia so, ukisikia nyimbo nzuri uh, labda kuna uko na tuseme uko na mchumba wako ama uko na fiance or boyfriend as we call them uh, then this certain boyfriend anytime you are together uh, during the good moments there is a certain particular song the two of you likes listening to or this partner of yours likes the song so anytime hata kama hauko na yeye ukisikia ile nyimbo inakukumbusha kuhusu the beautiful moments you spend with this your boyfriend uh, the same on the same point this is this uh, same boyfriend ambaye amekuwa mkispend that time those good moments and amekuwa mkikuwa na this particular song ambayo amekuwa mkitumia during those good moments if you break up ama akufanyi like mkuwa na, in an argument you're not in good terms amekusinya kwa njia moja au nyingine anytime utasikia ile nyimbo ita, ita trigger and it, this time haitakuwa a positive trigger itakuwa a negative trigger because ukikumbuka hiyo song ukimkumbuka you feel bad so in that way the trigger becomes um, a negative a, neg a, ne a negative trigger um uh, example lingine ni kama umekula chakula kizuri umekula chakula kitamu anytime utakuwa ukisikia 
harufu nzuri ambayo ina relate na kile chakula kizuri na kitamu labda kilikuwa na hiyo harufu nzuri kilikuwa na rangi nzuri anytime utaona chakula chochote kizuri utakuwa una relate na hicho chakula ambacho ulikula ama na mtu ambaye alikupikia hicho chakula kitamu at the same time kama kile chakula kilikuduru anytime utaona chakula ambacho kiko na rangi kama ya ile chakula ama kikusikia harufu ya kama ile chakula utakuwa unasikia vibaya kwa sababu that is a negative trigger so haitakukumbusha mambo mazuri kuhusu ile incident so yale mambo utakuwa ambayo utakuwa unakumbuka kuhusu hicho kitu yakikuwa ni negative then that is a negative trigger na kikuwa positive then that is a positive trigger so the negative triggers cause the survival brain to take over in response to a real or perceived threat so wakati uh, wakati umepokea that trigger uh, kwa mfano acha nitumie mfano wa kama couples so maybe kuna this beautiful place ama this specific place ama the song ambayo umekuwa mkiitumia sana during your good moment then you come and break up so itakuwa anytime you either pass through that place itakuwa inakukumbusha those uh, that, th- that person and by right now ana cause um, some kind of heart inside you so unaweza happen kuchukia to your place kabisa or ata sometimes some people anaweza mo kubadilisha njia kabisa not to go through that uh, that part uh, so that is the survival brain acting towards uh, that uh, that situation so this once the trigger the, the, the trigger goes to the survival brain then the survival brain acts to us now giving you that uh, it's like protecting you giving you that survival tip so as a, as a reaction to it una una hepa ile kama ni ile sehemu ama una hepa ama una unakataa kusikiza hizo nyimbo ama unavunja radio to those who are extreme in the in the in the response to to some situations uh maybe i can use a good example of like university students most of the time unapata mtu amedet mtu hapo hapo ndani ya shule then when they break up anachukia shule not because hapendi shule but because the school reminds them of of some heart so the school in this case is a trigger so whenever they come to school it triggers the the negative um, the negative uh, feeling that they have towards this person or maybe they see them when they come back to school so they will happen to to uh, as a as a result of um of re- of reacting towards that situation atakataa shule atakasema hataki hata kusongea karibu na hiyo shule so they end up maybe dropping out of school just because of just because of that so uh, let me go straight to types of triggers uh almost everything around you can be a trigger but uh, these triggers tunazi ona through sight that is through seeing maybe kama ni sehemu ukiona inakukumbusha ile incident mbaya ama incident nzuri uh through sounds like i have used uh, the example of a song ukisikia nyimbo ama ukisikia beat flani ama a certain sound maybe let's say for example um mtu ambaye alikuwa kidnapped alafu kutumiwa tools maybe hata alikuwa blindfolded folded so hakuona chochote but alisikia sauti ya zile zile kama ni mapanga ama ni the tools that were being used so anytime huyu mtu atasikia that sound itakuwa inamkumbusha that itakuwa ina, inamkumbusha that uh, incident where by now this one will be a negative trigger so that sound will be a negative trigger to this person so anytime anasikia hiyo sauti atakuwa ana react in a negative way we, we, uh, maybe anaweza kimbia ama anaweza toka tu aende hataki kusikia sauti kama hiyo then smells harufu uh, the same way maybe huyu mtu ulikuwa una date alikuwa anapenda perfume flani so you find uh huyu mtu akitembea apatane na mtu ambaye amepaka the same same kind of perfume ama kuna the same same kind of smell anaweza end up kuwa weird or um, anaweza end up kuwa mkali kwa huyu mtu na kumuongelesha vibaya 
not because anam chukia yeye but because of that trigger so now the survival brain is acting towards that uh, that trigger then uh, test um uh, then this i will relate it maybe to food maybe your your mother or a parent or maybe your best part your partner uh, alikuwa anakupikia chakula fulani ambacho ulikuwa na a certain a uh, unique test then all of a sudden you lose this partner maybe as a, as a, as a, as a result of separation or maybe as death so anytime you come across that test it reminds you of them so it gives you that negative trigger uh, and then as a result uh, of uh, the, now the survival brain reacting towards that unaweza pata mtu anatapika tu na unashangaa sasa anatapika nini na hata food maybe ni tamu wewe unaona food ni nzuri but this person is vomiting like seriously like they want uh, they want to 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 vomit everything maybe they they just took yeah, they just took a uh, one spoon so that is as a result of a uh, response from the survival brain and then uh, another one is date and time maybe on that particular date and this mostly happens with lovers maybe on a certain particular date maybe that's when you met so utapata mtu anachukia tu siku fulani hiyo siku ikifika hataki or maybe to the positive trigger utapata the anniversaries when uh, couples are celebrating anniversary they they will they would really like this particular day because uh, this is the day they got maybe a special person in their life so that is a positive trigger then uh, places as i explained kama shule venye uh, university student and a date mtu kwa shule then huyu mtu ana heartbreak in a very bad way so as a result wanakata shule not because they don't like school but the the view of that building or that area reminds them of what happened uh whether uh whether maybe for example uh you you had a certain experience when there was that particular weather maybe when it was rainy or maybe um the the weather was, there was a snow and so anytime you see that particular weather it reminds you of either a good incident or a, a bad incident hence this weather becomes um a trigger then feelings maybe uh when uh, let's say let me use a, an example of a couples again maybe the, there's a certain feeling uh, when when you saw this person ukiona huyo mtu kuna there's a way uh, this person made you feel so anytime utapatana na mtu later on ambaye atakufanya you feel the same way that uh, this partner of yours made you feel if it's a bad feeling you would react to them so that one will act as a trigger because uh, they will have reminded you of a feeling that you felt towards someone who who you also uh, loved whether they gave you a good experience that will be a positive trigger but if they gave you a bad experience then this particular feeling will give you will 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 be a trigger which will be a negative a negative trigger um so you the among this uh, so those are some of the types of triggers that um, we can come across so you could see here using the five the five senses so anything around you inaweza kuwa to trigger hata kijiko kinaweza kuwa trigger even shoes maybe a certain uh, kiatu tu aina fulani kinakukumbusha over certain incident so anything around you can be a trigger so it depends on uh, what you saw had felt or or um, tested during that particular moment is what will determine whether that particular thing will trigger you or not and um it's always good kama utaweza kujua uh, ni nini haswa huwa kina trigger zile feelings zako especially the negative ones ni vizuri ukikuwa ukiweza ku note kwamba vitu fulani zinanipatia trigger ndio ili uweze kuziavoid in that you can be able to heal if you were once traumatized and then um, you are in the healing process but again 
you keep on coming across these uh, triggers each and every time you might not be able to heal from the trauma because uh, they keep on reminding you something that you need to forget about so that you can be able to move on so um, up to that point uh, i think i have come to the end of my presentation i welcome questions and um, any questions and additions but uh, before nimalize mohammed eh? allow me to say this mm, i want to thank samba for giving me this opportunity because as i said earlier i have suffered several traumas one being the childhood trauma i also suffered a love trauma which i'm still healing on and um, having these experiences of knowing what my triggers are uh, it has really helped me and having gone through this um, trauma healings which monaisha is also one of the people who are helping me also find myself once again uh, as i am still going through my healing process i really thank this opportunity because it is really opening up my mind so i say a big thank you to you thank you Thank you so much uh, Nancy for that very 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 nice uh, presentation I believe it has been of a very great help uh, to everyone uh, me particularly there is a, a kind of uh, music which I like very much and whenever I listen to that music uh, it reminds me of something very nice very beautiful so that even if i'm stressed up if i listen to that kind of music when i had beautiful moments i just feel i'm back to those kind of lives i used to live thank you so much may you allow me now to introduce uh, monaisha to proceed from this point monaisha please Thank you thank you sir first but be, before i go ahead i can see abubakar omar has risen her, his hand maybe we can give him a chance or we continue then we can alafu aulize maswali baadaye is it possible to mpatie nafasi sasa ama mpaka tumalize presentation uh maybe i would prefer uh we give him uh, the opportunity after presentation because we shall have a uh, question and answers uh, moment please and contribution as, as well okay asante omar uh, abubakar omar naona tumeambiwa maswali tutauliza baadaye baada ya presentation kwa hivyo kama pengine unaona utasahau uh, unaweza kuweka uh, swali lako kwenye chat na mtu yote pengine ambaye atakuwa na swali ana comment yoyote ama kuna kitu angependa pia yeye kujaliza kata whatever is being uh, presented anaweza kuweka comments zake na maswali yake kwenye kwenye chat box alafu tutasoma baadaye so for for me we are talking about uh, the triggers and how the brain react ama versus how the brain react na tumeelezwa what are triggers ah uh, examples of triggers ambazo zime, zimetolewa tumeambiwa kuna sight sound smell touch uh, test that and time i love places weather and feel and feelings vitu mingi na nancy pia katusisiza akasema hizi triggers zinaweza kuwa kichochote around us so not necessarily na kile kichochote ambacho tunasema inamaanisha kwamba inaweza kuwa ni kitu cha kuona ama cha kusikia ama cha kusmell ama cha kutesta and all that so uh, katika triggers na how versus how the brain react ni kwamba sometimes it's so hard to identify our triggers what our triggers are sikila mmoja ambaye ataelewa ama kusikila wakati utajua mimi trigger yangu ni hii ambao huwa yanifanya ni react hivi na mostly utapata mtu ambaye ana experience trigger negative triggers all the time his thinking or her thinking brain normally huwa ina shutdown na inaacha ile survival survival brain inakuwa activated so kila wakati unapokuwa unapitia unapata zile negative triggers for example nikisema negative triggers ni kwa mfano unaona pengine unapata smell pengine hapo nyumo uliko nyumba yako imechomeka kila ukikaa unahisi kwamba nyumba ina inachomeka ni kama threat unahisi kwamba kuna threat plan za kufanyikia automatically ile thinking brain yako ambayo inakufanya wewe ufikirie vitu positively nini ufikirie jambo kutafuta solution uanalyze ile ile issue ufanye yani ikufanye ufikirie vitu kwa njia nzuri ama um, 
ina inakuwa ina shutdown kwa hivyo the only thing ambayo itakuwa iko activated by that time part of brain ambayo itakuwa activated inaitwa survival brain ndio inakuwa activated na iwapo mtu pia anapokuwa anapata uh, anakuwa exposed to traumatic events uh, ile brain ina adapt uh, kuwa ile survival brain ndio inakuwa iko on all the time ndio unapata saa zote mtu ni mkali saa zote mtu anapiga na hiti ni muoga saa zote mtu ana majibu ambayo hayaeleweki yani ukimfanya kitu kidogo ni kama anatafuta sababu tu akujibu ndio ile pressure yake ifanye nini ipungue so ni kwa sababu kila wakati huyu mtu anapitia traumatic events ambazo zinamfanya yeye brain yake azile other part of the brain zina shut anabaki tu na survival brain ndio inakuwa ni iko on na ndio inamsurvivisha all through katika maisha yake so ni mara nyingi utapata mtu all the time yeye yeah, ako hyper pressure yake iko juu saa zote yeye ni mkali nini kwa sababu all the time ana feel kwamba ana kuna threat fulani ambayo itamfanikia ama kuna kitu ambacho kina kwa hivyo anakuwa na anajenga ile defensive mechanism ya kwamba aweze kujitetea na when you have that the uh, the the a defensive mechanism inaonyesha kwamba your survival brain imekuwa iko activated all the time iko on high shot it's always on ndio pale kitu kidogo usharepuka kitu kidogo ushapiga mwenda for example nitapatia tu mfano na mara nyingi hizi ni situations ambazo tunapatana nazo mahali either kazini unapatana nazo either pale nyumbani unapatana nazo njiani unapata tu for example unapita njiani unamkungua mtu mtu ambaye ambaye akili yake imetulia ambaye pengine hajakuwa traumatized ama pengine hata kama yuko traumatized lakini anajua namna ya kujimanage unapomkungua yeye kwa kawaida ataangalia ile situation atasema eh huyu ilikuwa ni bahati mbaya na atachana na ile story atakocha uende na yeye atafata shughuli zake ni kwa sababu decision yake kwamba haja react chochote atakwambia pole ni ba, ukimwambia pole ni bahati mbaya yeye atakuelewa na ile story itakuwa imeisha pale ah pole mimi pia sikuwa najua kama umekuja huko ndio wangu atakuelewa kwa sababu gani wakati ule ile decision yake ya kwamba hajateta na wewe hajakujibu vibaya inaonyesha kwamba thinking brain yake bad in ime dry ime derive ile ile decision ambayo ame make ya kuto ya kuto make fujo ya kutofanya problems na nini kidogo nyama zisha huu mtoto maana yake ni sumbua okay so alafu kwa in the same same situation wakati pengine unapishana na mtu ana unamkungua na anakujibu vibaya badala ya kwamba akwambie pole kwani mwenye alikuwa unioni si ulikuwa unakuja na njia kama hii inaonyesha kwamba yule mtu ame, alikuwa pengine ako traumatized na kwa wakati ule the only thing ambayo inafanya kazi is the survival brain na wakati survival brain iko ime take over hiyo inasema hiyo reaction zake ziko pap tumeambiwa it, it gives reactions instantly na 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 hiyo ina inamfanya ina, ina, ina yeye anaweza kujibu chochote anaweza ku react kivyovyote hata ngumi pale wakati kama ule anaweza hata kukuchapa kwa sababu gani survival brain inamwambia yeye anafaa ku react vile kwa sababu all the time amekuwa na traumatic events zimemkuwa zimemhapenia hajajua namna ya kujimanage hajui yafanye nini na hawezi kujua kwa ile thinking brain yake ime shut at that moment yeye amabaki tu ana survive with the survival brain So everything ambayo ataiona katika maisha yake, e kila kitu ambacho kitampitia katika uh, maisha uh, katika njia zake ama katika hamsini zake, already it's a trigger and she feels or she feels she wants to react on it kwa sababu kwake yeye at that moment it's a threat. Sawa sawa. So uh, wakati mtu anapokuwa ame anakuwa na uh, trauma ina, inamfikia ama wakati anapopitia na trauma pia unampata katika tumeambiwa katika ile uh, another brain ambayo the part ya yellow tumeambiwa ni uh, emotional brain unampa it, it stores memories lakini kwa sababu yeye hajajua ku manage na all the time hizi ni vitu ambazo zinampitia haziponi amepatwa na trauma hii haikupona amepatwa na incident hii hakupona hajui namna ya kujimanage ndio pale kila wakati unapo anapokuelezea historia yake ama historia yake kila siku ana inabadilika badilika leo anakuadia kipoint hichi kesho anakuja na kuambia hivi kesho kutu anakuambia hivi kwa sababu kila wakati yeye anaona hayuko katika hali salama so asipojizungumzi asipozungumza ile issue na bila kuongeza kitu fulani maybe ama kitu ulikuwa umekisahau akakiongeza 
ndio pale unamuona kwamba yule mtu ni mrongo unamuona yule mtu hasemi ukweli ni kwa sababu yeye wakati ule ile uh, emotional brain yake imekuwa damaged na ni kwa sababu zile vitu ambazo ziko zinamsurround anaziona kwamba ni triggers na anaziona kwamba zipo kuweza kufanya nini kuweza ku anaziona kwamba ni ana uoga fulani ambao ameuweka kwa kwamba yeye anafaa ajieke katika hali ambayo iko sawa ndio pale sometimes unapata mtu hajafanya kitu uta a, a, pengine alikuwa huko kitambo alipitia issue kwamba pengine kulikuwa na mob justice alipigwa kwa sababu kulikuwa na maybe kulikuwa na watu wanaandamana kisha kwa bahati mbaya akaweza kushukwa na polisi akachapo so wakati wote kiona polisi hata kama hajaulizwa kitu gani kinakuwa acha kusema mimi nisameheni mwenzenu sijui likuaje mimi tafanyika vipi manake siko sawa nini kwa sababu kuna wakati mimi nilifanya hivi huko msimione kama mimi mbeni nimefanyika hiki kitu sikufanya hivyo and all that so anakuwa ni mtu ambaye ana develop hali ya kwamba kila story yake akizungumza ama akifanya kitu ana ile hali ya kujidefend na kama ni historia ataipeana basi itakuwa inabadilika badilika ama kuna vitu ambavyo vitakuwa vinabadilika si kama vile pale mwanzo alivyokuwa kitoelezea. Kwa hivyo uh, sisi ambao tuko hapa haimaanishi kila mmoja kuna unajua trigger zako. Yes, kwa sababu unajua zile uh, traumatic events ambazo unazipitia. But sometimes inakuwa ngumu sana ku identify which are your triggers kwa, kwa muda mwingine. Kwa sababu gani inategemea na ile life yako ya history yako ya traumatic uh, life yako imeingilika vipi do you know how to manage yourself do you know how your brain works wakati unapojielewa ndio ni rahisi sana unaji unapofanya kitu unajiuliza je mimi ninapofanya hichi kitu niko katika upande gani which part of brain imekuwa activated which part of brain sasa hivi nafaa niitumie zaidi ni activate ni regulate irudi sawa ili ya kwamba hiki kitu kisinifanye nikafanya kitu kibaya kwa sababu sometimes triggers zinaweza kufanya ukapata mtu anakuwa ana, ana na uoga fulani ama ana develop ana, a certain behavior kwa sababu ya triggers ambazo zinampata zina na kwa sababu ya zile traumatic events ambazo zimempitia ndio pana anakuwa na that kind of behavior kama kuna maswali tupo hapa just write on the chat box alafu tazidi kuongea asante sana kids wow Thank you so much Mwanaisha for that uh, very 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 interactive session and sharing. I think you have just reminded me of something uh, that if I'm traumatized or I may, re I may react uh, very differently as my survival brain takes over. I can remember an incident where I saw an accident uh, somewhere people got injured and I was also involved in one. So from that moment Uh, I don't I don't really like sitting in the front seat at any time and that is uh, another problem that is uh, facing me even today however let's uh, put that one aside and welcome Mr Mohammed to take us to the next level then we will get question and answers Mr Mohammed welcome Asante sana Cephas um, if Abubakar is still on I would uh, request that he ask his question so that uh, when we go into the next phase uh, we have taken uh, care of that question and then uh, we look forward to other questions before we finish bakari you wanted to say something yeah, yeah. okay thank you very much mbwana uh, um my question goes to madam nancy and okay it may not be a question as such but uh, talking about um, the triggers you know in life especially when you are maybe looking for this the relationship part where this relationship leads to marriages there are many th many things that are attached to this relationship you can find that this music as she said can have the type of food sometimes even go for dressing code you put on the same types of clothes such like things so there are so many things that are attached to, to the relationship to an extent that once this relationship comes to a, a halt due to reasons then you find yourself in a situation whereby anything that happens it happens to be a trigger in that house maybe even the setup of, the, of your own house you set it up as per you and your spouse so you find that almost everything in in your life now as per that time that now this relationship has come to an end becomes a trigger so in such a situation how does one come out of it because you find that 
you listen to this music, it's connected to the relationship. You pick up this in the house, it's connected to the relationship. You even anything in that in that setup now is a it becomes a trigger. So in such a situation, how does one come out of it? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Abakar Omar. Uh, I think that is a very good question. It it actually sets the pace for the next um, presentation. So I will ask uh, Nancy to uh, halt. I put it on ice first. Usiji Bukwanza, because we want to take the same uh, remark. Alafu tuende kwa the next um, the next conversation. Alafu ndipo tuweze kuwajibu maswali kama hayo. And again. In our next um, uh, topics also, we are going to look at uh, how do we cope uh, with stress and trauma. And uh, coping with stress and trauma basically is coping with triggers, uh, you know. So thank you, Abakar. Uh, allow, allow us to move a bit ahead, but uh, thank you for actually ushering this um, uh, last presentation. So the last presentation for today is called uh, False Alarms, you know, the triggers, and uh, false alarms. Triggers basically are reminders. Kwamba something is uh, reminding you of something. So that's a trigger. And your body, your mind, or your brain um, analyzes very quickly everything that triggers you. Alafu uh, inapeleka ujumbe so the body reacts. Now, a lot of that time, ujumbe wa triggers uh, especially for the negative triggers, who you want to be able to survive your brain, na it will kill kishipa. When it, when that information comes to the survival brain, there are only four four ways of reacting. Either you are fighting, or you are flighting. That means you are running away, or you freeze. Na manisha wone uchungu mungine ona ubeba kwa kifua, or you faint. You you submit, which means uh, unasema tu mimi maisha yangu. Uh, I am not in control, so whatever happens, happens. Now, what are false alarms? False alarms, basically, uh, these are triggers that don't necessarily put you in danger, but the brain reacts as if you are in danger. Those are what we call false alarms. Um, in Asema, when the thinking brain is shut down, because at any given time of the three brains, thinking brain, emotional brain, and uh, survival brain, there is no time that two brains are active. When one is active, the other ones are deactivated. So if the thinking brain is activated, it switches off the emotional and the survival brain. If it is the emotional brain that is active, it switches off the thinking brain and the survival brain. But now, when the survival brain is the one that is active, remember the survival brain as the one goes, kazi yake ni kwa kikisha uko salama. Some people call it instinct. Some people call it adrenaline. But when the survival brain is active or it is activated, it does not know whether the trigger that it faces is real or perceived. All it does Inasema, mimi kazi yangu ni kwa kisha, mtu yuko salama. Just like bodyguards. Ushoo na raisi, akizungu kwa na bodyguards. Alafu, maybe kutoke mlipuko. Maybe ni mlipuko watairi, limepasuka. Lime, lime Karibu na mkusanyiko wa watu ambapo president, ama mtu mashuhuri ya mepita. What happens to the bodyguards? Waneza mbeba juu kwa juu. Mbebe mzega mzega wakamweke maali salama. Because wanasema, uo mshtuko wende kawa umelengwa the president. So, kazi yao wao ni kwa kisha, the president is safe. It doesn't matter whether the president anajua kwa that is a false alarm or kwa mba anajua mba nyumbani ni kwa salama sezi durika. But for as long as detail yao, security detail yao, niambiwa, ikifanyika hivi, akikisheni mzee yuko salama. So, they will rush him. Ata hawato mbebeleza kwa sabu ni president, ata kama tukumchapa kofi, ama kumbendo over. Ata mbendo over, they bundle him and make sure they run away to make himself. That's exactly what the brain does. The survival brain does. When there's a trigger, maybe ulichomekewa na nyumba, kitambo, amu uliwa na nyumba inachomeka, the smell of smoke, tari inapambia, ah-ah, uende kawa kuna nyumba inachomeka. 
it may not be real. Maybe watu wame, wame toba taka taka, or maybe ni tairi li, uh, li meungua. Lakini anything amboi ina, inalinganishwa na moto, wewe tayari unajua yoni atari. And the brain reacts very quickly. So if you've not managed, if you are not able to regulate your brain, you will be on the run all the time. Maybe you were involved in an accident or there was an accident somewhere and you witnessed it. So, unaposikia sauti ya inetuaje ya alam, kinetuaje kile kingora. Kingora ineza kuwa ni zimamoto, ineza kuwa ni ambulance or something. But we ukisikia kingora tu. Kwa sababu siku, ulipopata ilipo patikana ile accident kulikuja ambulance na ilikuwa nalia kingora basi kingora chochote kikilia hata kama watu wamebeba makaa wewe kwenye akili yako unajua hapa ni maafa so that's um, that's um, that's what we call um, a false alarm and uh, like abakara said umetengeza nyumba yako ina way kwamba ni wewe na nansi uh, mupendezwe so ma, ma ma coaching maker na certain way uh curtains mezeke na certain way television maker na certain way maybe may dress uh balloons and whatever so anywhere you go you find a balloon ina kukumbusha nansi yenye mliachana but is it real umeenda supermarket umeona balloons zimeekewa wewe hazijaekewa wewe lakini it is a false alarm inakushtua inakupelekea maumivu kwa lile ambalo nilikupitikia. Now, a very good example that is given about false alarms ni kwamba ni kama vile vile tu triggers zingine ni kama vile vile tu gari ambayo imewekwa alarm and a car alarm ambayo it is faulty. A good alarm only runs wakati pengine mtu ameshika mlango anataka kufungua hiyo hiyo alarm ina ina set off. Ama mtu amegonga gari alamu ina set off but a false alarm inaizalia hata kama ni upepo tu umepita wa hiyo alamu ina leo unajiuliza kwani gari yangu itaka kuibiwa no it because the alarm system is faulty sometimes kukutokea hata mtoto analia the alarm goes off for your car alafu unajiuliza kuibiwa haitaki kuibiwa it is a false alarm the alarm is faulty so when we are traumatized when we go through very hard moments and especially when these moments are repeated we tend to have false car alarms in our brains so anything small it triggers us a reaction and a very violent reaction so abakar part of it answers the question these are false alarms and as people if we need to engage and to build relationships with other people we need to heal from our previous relationships so that we do not carry over false alarms to new relationships if you are past spouse lover um uh, used to wear a jacket akitaka kwenda hang na pengine uko hang ndio alipatana na mtumba mwingine ndio akafanya mkaachana your new lover may be a lover of a jacket but it doesn't mean that your jacket pia anaenda hang kutafuta mtumba mwingine but because of that previous relationship you may fight this guy wearing his jacket just because it reminds you of a failed relationship sasa mnaanza kukosana upya pasipo na umuhimu wako sana because the jacket is a trigger but it's a trigger that is a false alarm it makes you get into an ugly argument with your spouse because you have not hauja bado hauja 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 kwenda over the hurt and the pain of that previous relationship and Unfortunately ladies and gentlemen a lot of current relationships a lot of current relationships unfortunately are affected by false alarms of our previous relationships and because we are the ones who underwent those pains 
and the spouse maybe does not understand what you went through, the triggers come to us, not to our spouses. And when we become violent, when we become emotional, our spouses don't understand us. And they feel as if we are trigger happy or we are too emotional because they are doing something that is normal. But for you, you see it as a trigger and it affects Maskizano in that relationship. I hope I'm speaking to people. So false alarms, my brothers and sisters, are actually triggers that drive the brain to tell you there is danger when there is none. And for us to be able to address false alarms, we have to find coping mechanisms that will help us to get over the triggers of our previous relationships or triggers of our previous pains in order for us now to go normally and to be very sober and to rearticulate and constantly activate our thinking brain so that we are not affected in our new relationships, in our new environments, in our new engagements based on false alarms. A very good example I'll tell you is a, is a child. Mtoto amekwamba amezoea kuchapwa ama kiluga zetu za mtaani, mtoto ambaye amezoea kusundugwa. Pengine si kupigwa tu lakini maneno, akifanya kitu kidogo anakemewa, akifanya kitu kidogo anakemewa, akifanya kitu kidogo anakemewa. In a class situation, anapokuwa shule yule mtoto. The trauma, the stress kwamba yeye hapati nafasi ya kujiexpress bado inampeleka mpaka pale shule. And this kind of child will never express themselves in front of a teacher. Na mwalimu anapoingia darasani na kiboko, hata kama ni chaku, hata kama ni cha kuotesha mifano kwenye ubao, he will not be in peace or she will not be in peace. Anajua ile kiboko imeletwa kwa maana ya mimi na watu wengine ambao kwamba wamezoea kutandika. So they will not concentrate. Because in their other life, hiyo kiboko inawaletea maumivu sana. And if that is not addressed, the child will not perform very well in that environment because understand the circumstances about anatoka, and therefore they keep hurt because they constantly trigger that false alarm and it doesn't make them um, comfortable in that learning environment. What are some of the coping mechanisms to deal with the benefit of time? Let me just go over very briefly because we shall have a topic that will just be after next, after next topic. And we will be discussing this in great detail. And maybe we'll have sessions of the same because the coping mechanisms or awareness and practice are diverse. And we want to make sure these are some of the content that our participants need to take home in order to be able to cope with their traumas. So one of the things that will help you uh, to cope with um, false alarms or with, with the triggers is um, emotional, an emotional way of addressing it. In ILS Wakwamba, be able to express your feelings every time they come to you. When you feel this is a trigger or you are, you are, you are, you are feeling um, unsettled, please express yourself. And be a, the person next to you. Tell your parent, tell your brother, tell your spouse. If you feel you cannot tell them because maybe you may suffer emotional outburst, find someone who is safe, tell them, whether they are going to tell the person that is affecting you well and good. If not, that by telling them, you are reducing the emotions in that expression so that when you come back to your spouse or you come back to the person who you feel has uh, aggravated that feeling, then you are able to talk to them in a sober manner rather than emotional. So express yourselves every time you feel that pain so that 
usingoje zile pain zikalibikizana zimefika kumi sasa unasema siku nyingine ulifanya hivi siku nyingine sasa hiyo time umeshika kipango nataka kupata because now talking did not happen in the first instance imefika mahali you want to go away mimi ndo ni basi au imefika mahali unataka kukata mtu panga au imefika mahali unasema mimi this business is gone i am not going to have a conversation with you but you never had a conversation in the first place so emotionally please express yourself every time you feel that little pain so that it does not build into a very big pain and you are not able to express yourself uh, very well another thing is a uh, mentor some of us uh, tunasema a, a good way of of, of uh, avoiding trouble is to have a mental block you just block it i am one of those people who feel blocking is, is a good way of running away from situations but um, kitaalamu that is not uh, recommended deal with it so that it affects you 100% first time when you deal with, with it again it affects you 90% when you deal with it again you are sober you are open and not this thing pains me it it but the third time the fourth time in afika mali then it affects you 50% if you keep addressing it or just telling yourself this is a real issue and i have to address it in afika mali it affects you only 20% but when you block it any time it comes again it affects you 100% if you block it again the next time it comes again it still affects you 100% so inakuwa hauwezi pona from that situation Another another way of addressing um, these triggers and false alarms and stress is um, physical. Avoid avoid giving your body physical things that uh, will numb it in order to forget. Pombe, bangi, unga, whatever. Nasema mi na jibugi ni akikiche for two days it was scary kitu. After those two days, my friend, the pain is still there. You still have to address it. So one of the best things to do is to in, in, indulge in um, physical exercise it can be games it can be kulima it can be washing it can be anything but just make sure your body is exercising all the time in akikisha regulation of blood in akwenda mzuri so that the blood is not just stuck on the cerebral brain and then inakupeleka kutengeza maamuzi ambayo si mazuri another one is relational you can you, you can address these false alarms and triggers by relationally uh coping and this is when i say matena don't bottle up uh, when you have a situation don't bottle up reach out um share experiences with other people when you share experiences inapunguza makali ya zile zile vitu ambazo zinakuumiza or indulge in community service indulge in volunteer work whenever you are doing something that makes other people happy in a radiate back it also make you happy when you are when you are exerting efforts to make people feel better then there will be people also who reach out to you either to give you praises or to want to make you feel better as well so that one also helps in a coping with your uh, with your uh, with your stresses or false alarms another thing is spiritual allow yourself to remember god allow yourself to relax find your me time meditate we will talk about these things in the in the in the next topics uh, the last one that i'm going to uh, not the last one but um, the semi last is um, time for self it's very important sometimes just um, switch off that phone kama uko na kuku zako go there and just be talking to your chicken if kama una boga zako go there just till yani we were in a natural environment you are just having a conversation that is beautiful away from humans who make you suffer me time is very important especially when you want to engage in very serious uh, entities you need to have a me time that takes away the toxic um, stuff from your body and refreshes you so that when you are engaging afresh whether it's a business venture or it is a new relationship unakuja kama umsafi kama sufi but when you transit from a very paining situation to a very safe situation lakini unakuja na pain zako ni wewe ndo unakuja kuharibu hiyo new situation unaifanya sasa inakuwa toxic 
Lastly, social. Hang out. Find friends. Gas. And the one thing that is being said, um, uh, the difference between men and women, that women are coping better, or at least wanafadhali katika coping mechanism zao kuliko wanaume, because women gas, women share, women talk. But wanaume wanasema, wanaume bana hali, wanaume uh, hasemi aibu zake. So because of that, tunaeka vitu vingi sana kwa kifua, and then vina repuka, vina tuhu. Sefas? Thank you so much, uh, Mohammed, for that very, very elaborate and uh, very nice presentation. I think uh, for this moment, we are going to have uh, question and answers. And in the call chat uh, box, I can see a number of comments and also questions. Uh, let me start with uh, Madam Ula Boga. She's saying, very good presentations. Uh, thanks, Nancy and Monaisha. Then we have Jalim Ibrahim. Jalim Ibrahim has a, a number of questions here. So let me start. The question is, under normal circumstances to human being, which brain must be active? That is question one. Then another second question, how does the issue of triggers on trauma relating to chronic diseases, for example, the asthma? Then question number three, uh, does, the type, does the types of uh, brains relating by any way with human personality? We have three questions uh, from Jalim. Please, Mohamed, are you going to lead the team in answering the questions? Um, let me uh, let me give it a go. I can see Jalim has also risen his hand. I don't know whether he wanted to speak in um, maybe maybe to match on game. And I came to you, me, uh, me, Jalim, you want to give it verbally or even when you're somewhere at Russia? Okay, uh, because of time, let me. Uh, uh, let me come in. First question, and Uliza, which uh, under, no, uh, under normal circumstances, which brain must be active? Um, so I hope normal circumstances are what we would call optimal uh, situation where everything is um, working well. When everything is working well, the number one brain that is active all the time is the thinking brain. If everything is constant, the number one brain is thinking brain in a kuanga eco very active. So anybody who is in a very, a lady who is happy in marriage, a man who is happy in marriage, a child who is, has good parenthood, uh, shule anapatu usaidizu wa kutosha, hana shida na express, that child, a lot of the time, the thinking brain is active. And that is the, that is the, that is the part of the brain that is responsible for a lot of positive engagement. Unfortunately, not everyone in life has everything going the right way. You may find a child ambekwamba maybe nyumbani kupata chakula nikitu cha kubahatisha. So asubui anajua lazima abangaize inaweza kuwa kuna kitu lunch inaweza kuwa kuna kitu maybe chakula tapakana jioni already that child because of his struggling trying to look for alternatives it may be that his emotional brain is mostly more active than the thinking brain and uh, he is emotionally affected so the, 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 the emotional brain is the one that is active let's take a situation of um, a, a child uh, it may be in somalia or anywhere, ambapo maybe vita vina, vina tokia sa azote, maybe the Congo, the ASEAN, whatever. This child has been running throughout his life or her life. Mara meona soldier, ana atoroka. Mara ni bomba meisikia, ana atoroka. Mara meisikia uh, kimora, ana atoroka. Ordinarily, the child is being cultured that the survival brain is all the time active because they are living in a dangerous context. 
So unfortunately, their survival brain may be more active or may be active a lot more times than the thinking brain because he, her, his or her condition is not normal. And then you may find a, a, a child who lives in a situation of abuse. Maybe the abuse is not to that child, but it is in the, in the relationship between maybe the father and the mother. So, asha sikia sana mama akitukamwa ama baba akichapwa kofi or something. Or any situation related to that. So, the child is not in any imminent danger. So, maisha yake hayako atarini. So, the survival brain will not be triggered all the time. But the emotional brain will be triggered all the time because katika maisha yake, there are so many emotions going through. So, Ajalim, everybody has their context. And based on your context, your brain is trained to survive the context that most affects you. The second question is, um, how does the issue of triggers or trauma relating to chronic diseases, for example, with asthma? Triggers, if you cannot have triggers, you cannot have negative triggers if you've not suffered trauma. You must have suffered pain or painful circumstances that some things become trigger, reminding you of that pain. All right? And based on how bad that pain was or how much coping you have undergone, in a kukuletea ulcers na nini because your survival brain in a kuambia freeze these feelings. So maybe in a situation about you cannot run away from, maybe you are, you are in a marriage or you are in a household, when you talk about your nyumba, you there are things happening. You cannot run away from those things. So a flight is not an option for survival brain. You cannot fight your father or your elder brother who is maybe the you know, connect na the bad feelings. You cannot fight them. So fighting and flight are not are not options. So submitting is not an option. But what you do, you freeze. So every painful experience that we na kulet in ina kupata una unaeka kwa kifua unaeka kwa kifua una tundiza so na kutundiza it affects you ina kuumiza lakini hawezi ku react iko siku kikiumana utakuja kushika panga na ukate mtu but before that that point reaches now what are, what what are, what what happens is it is your other body parts that get affected. And that's when you, are, you can talk issues about ulcers and stuff. Your third question, uh, does any type of brain relating, uh, relating by any way with human personality? Yes. Uh, so if, if, you have, if you have your thinking brain mostly active, or if you have your emotional brain mostly active, or the survival brain, it follows that your circumstances have regulated your brain to activate the most appropriate part so that you are able to cope with those surroundings. So yes, uh, Jalim, every person, ukiona mtoto kishipa, ukiangalia, kuna, 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 kuna vitu. Watu mbo kama anatumia the thinking brain mostly, ni wala mbo kama wanafuatu na watu kutafuta busara, kutafuta ushauri, mashehe, mapadri, watu mbo kama saa zote wana wako na mambo ya Mungu wana meditate saa zote wako kwenye Quran or Biblia na nini so by doing those things tukuja kuongea huko mbele they are helping them to self regulate and put their thinking brain all the time you know iko active so you cannot have a thinking brain that is active just for no other reason it has to be a regulation it has to be a culture it has to be an activity that makes your thinking brain to be the one active in the absence of that, we have the emotional brain or the survival brain that are the most active based on the triggers or the, what we call the dangers surrounding, uh, surrounding you. I think I've addressed all those questions. Zajalim, uh, many a times uh, we take mental health challenges as a disease that can, that can be caused by stress and trauma. Uh, if, if I understand you, and um, 
Anafu anasema what about when when the triggers are not emotional are not emotional thought caused by circumstantial like the case of financial challenges Yes uh, Dominic triggers may not necessarily be emotional things and mental health does not start with the matters of stress and uh, trauma mental health are matters of day to day actually kitambo liko tunaambiwa unapokuwa na issues you need uh, to to visit a therapist uh, maybe a psychiatrist uh, na wale watu ambao wanatajwa na maji makubwa makubwa sana but ukweli ni kwamba before you get to a level where you need to pay 100000 to a therapist you can exercise social activities ambazo zinakuzuia wewe kufika huko kwa therapist ambao unafaa kumlipa pesa nyingi sana so mental health is not always about um, the stress the trauma and the big thing and depression mental health is just about waking up and telling someone umemkaja are you okay nakupenda sana leo umevaa nguo nzuri that is already a matter of mental health when you are making other people comfortable that is already the beginning of making people run away from getting to a therapist uh maybe it's safer so i can let other people also uh, contribute thank you muhammad uh, i think that question uh, is uh, partly answered and i can also ask uh, the rest of the team members uh, monaisha nancy or any other person who would like to uh, continue uh, with the question where he says do we do we take this as a stress or trauma then number two, how best can you help someone in such quick and quick sand to come to terms with their sane mental health then an atwa comment and congratulations to the graduate in the house that speaks uh, ola so that the part of that question please can someone uh, else nancy ama monaisha aweze ku handle Okay uh thank you sir uh you will take this as a stress or trauma kwanza it's a financial challenge financial challenge hiyo kwanza itakuwa si stress because kama haujapata kusudishwa au haujapata zunisho yake ndio itakuwa stress na wakati hii stress haitakuwa ime imepata suluhisho it can lead to trauma sasa ndio pale mtu na tunaambiwa kwamba stress ni kitu ambacho kinakusumbua kwa muda ukipata okay, solution kinaisha then you look for another thing na stress hazi hatazi ziepuka katika maisha yetu so financial challenges inaweza kuwa ipo yes imepata suluhisho kama haijapata suluhisho for so long hiyo stress imekaa for example imekuwa ni financial challenge umekuwa nayo hauja solve story of financial challenge mtoto wako anakuwa mgonjwa mwingine amefukuzwa na school fees zinaongezeka tu zinaongezeka zinaongezeka but as long as hizi stresses zikikuwa solved zikiisha zinaikwenda zinapungua zina, zinaenda zake so kuna zingine zina come up as ni, ni ndio maana tukaambia ni muhimu sana wakati you, uh, you una undergo any kind of stress isuluishe yeshe kwa sababu kuna nyingine na kungojea itakuja na wakati haijasuluhishika wakati zina fail up zinakuwa nyingi ama issues zinaongezeka katika maisha yako ndio pale mwisho zinaweza kuwa nini zinaweza ku lead to uh, trauma maana yake kuna ile kitu tunaita compound stress kuna stress hii inaongezeka hii inaongezeka juu ya hii kuna nyingine inaongezeka ni mzigo unaongezeka 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 na haupati uh, suluhisho ndio pale inaishilea kwa nini kwa ni trauma uh, sijui Nancy ataendelea na question Muhammad please Um before Muhammad ameuliza how best can you help someone in such quick sun to come to terms with their sane mental health He lazima mtu kuna ile self awareness ama kuweza kumuonyesha kwamba kuna vitu ambavyo haviko sawa ambavyo avielewe kwamba kuna kuna kama kama mfano si wewe mwenyewe binafsi ambao hauja haujajua kwamba kuna kitu ambacho kinakufanyika katika maisha yako but ni yule mtu kumfanya katika hali ambayo elewe kwamba 
uh, kuna vitu ambavyo anavifanya in one way or the other haviko sawa ambapo anahitaji kuviangalia na wakati anavyobielewa ndio pale mtu anaweza fanya nini anaweza kufanyia kazi ili kujeregesha katika sawa na katika tunapozungumza katika wellness and practices wiki ijayo inshallah kama that is itaendelea pia itasaidia mtu wakati kama hayuko sawa atajiregesha vipi katika hali yake ya kwa sawa kwa sababu kuna several ways ama kuna several things ambazo kila mtu ako nazo uniquely ambazo za kizifanya zinamregesha katika ile hali yake ya kuwa sawa. So ikiwa si wewe mwenyewe ni mtu mwingine then, then jaribu um, um, ujue zile mbinu ambazo yeye akizifanya anarudi katika hali yake ya kawaida hali yake ya kuwa sawa ili ya kwamba pia yeye aweze kujitoa katika ile hali ambayo inamfanya hayuko sawa kwa wakati ule. So wellness and practices I think this will answer best wakati tukifanya hiyo topic. I know I think uh, Nona Muhammad Amika amesha screen maybe ana kitu anataka kuongea. Muhammad want to share something? Yes. Yes, um kuna swali la Dominic, kuna swali la uh, Mheshimiwa Mishi Mayumbe. Nataka ku nataka kuajibu kwa mfano hii picha kwamba the first kama unaona kasa yangu the first photo inaonesha uh, mama au dada ambaye kwamba amebeba mzigo kitita cha mzigo wa kuni na hichi kitita kiko na kuni nyingi tu i'm sure kama anatembea nazo kwa kilomita mbili zinamuumiza sana lakini amefika ile level ya elasticity kwamba anaweza kuzibeba na akenda nazo tuseme hizi hizi vijikuni ni vipices hamsini. so pieces hamsini, u mama amejikakamua anasema anaenda nazo so this is stress. Picha pili vile vijiti hamsini ambavyo kwamba anavibeba japokuwa kwa shida lakini mwenyewe anavihimili. Huyu bwana akaja akamuongesha akamuongeza kujiti mmoja tu. Alipoongeza huyu kijiti kimoja umama anaanguka. Alafu unajiuliza ah, sasa amebeba vitu hamsini mbona hii moja tu inamwangusha kwa sababu gani? Ni kwa sababu vile vijiti hamsini anavibeba vimemfikisha katika elasticity level yake ya mwisho hawezi ku expand kuvumilia zaidi ya pale so maybe hii picha kwanza tuseme ilikuwa ni stress za pesa uh, ikaja stress ya mtoto amefukuzwa shule maybe sasa mama ni mjamzito anafikiria bado miezi miwili nikazae nitakwenda vipi sina pesa so hizi video zina zina zinamkimbiza alafu hama hapa anakuja kupata kwamba mtoto labda ame alikuwa anacheza aka akapoteza aka boli la watu ama akavunja kitu cha mtu ambapo kama kinahitaji kama 2000 hivi na yeye mwenyewe alikuwa kule atafuta angalau hizo 2000 aweze kuweka akiba akaenda kuzaa so ile ile fikra kwamba pengine jirani ama mwenye ametendewa ame, ame, ame anasema lazima unilipe hizi pesa kwa sababu mimi la sivyo mtoto wako nampeleka polisi that is also a financial issue lakini sasa imeenda beyond vile ambavyo anaweza vumilia so what happens in the third photo anaingia katika trauma sasa zile video zimekuwa sasa si stress tena zinamwangusha chini ijapokuwa pengine hapa alikuwa na handle deni la 1012 20 30 lakini anasema ni kwa muda nitapambana nalo but ile tu issue yenye mmefanya sasa anatakana 2000 za mara moja inamfanya anaanguka sasa stress ina develop into into trauma so these are examples a lot of the times we we are in situations ambazo tunadhani tunaweza kuzihimili but comes another situation on top of that and then we rupture alafu mtu mwenye anaangalia kando na juuliza ah sasa amesoni watu wamepiga mtu kibao you don't know what was going on in the mind of that person maybe vile vile ambavyo amevumilia vimeshafika elasticity level yake ya mwisho but anything else that comes and a snap the survival brain takes over and in that photo that we have shown the survival brain what has, what has it done the survival brain has submitted you know it's no longer it's no longer important to live afadhali tanikufe so anaweza faint ama ajiache tu mangamu 
So time only meenda sana na Cephas. Sijui so unatuongoza vipi because now it's 9:25. We are supposed to have finished by 9:10. Thank you Fred. I think uh, uh, most all all the all of the questions that we had had, had been already answered. Maybe I'll read the last uh, two comments. Uh, one is by Ibrahim who is saying that uh, thanks for the answers. They are marvelous and well articulated. Then we have uh, Dominic is also giving thanks. It is well done. And uh, finally, I think uh, Madam Mishi is also saying that Brother Mwachawusa, thank you so much. I think... Uh, Sefas, Sefas, kuna kitu pole. Kuna kitu uh, mwishmi wa Mishi ametaja, ame, 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 amelinganisha a financial constraint ambo kwamba imekuwa caused um by a relationship ambao pia imearibu biashara na ibado ikaleta break up so now as a as a mental health practitioner tunaambiwa when you are in a situation where you need to make a decision and you are in dilemma you can you, you can take any decision but what mental health tells you inakwambia choose your mental health fast before anything if you choose to andamana na mtu asharibu biashara yako mshaachana na mingi inaweza kuwa hata anabweta huko anasema ah nilimuonesha yule alikuwa anajifanya mjuaji so they are moving on with their life and at the same time they are cajoling you you have to choose your mental health because pengine hata kulipa kwa njia ya sawa na ukipambana naye sana atakupotezea muda ambao kwamba ule muda ungeutumia kutuma zingine ama pingine ule muda ungeutumia ku invest in another relationship ambao kwamba imekusongelea so keeping an eye on that previous relationship what does it do it affects you mentally it affects you emotionally it affects you socially kwa sababu yule mtu alokukumbatia aloku sasa hivi hauna muda naye wewe una muda zaidi ya kufikiria yule mwenye ameku amekusibu ame, ame kule nyuma so the best thing that you need to choose is choose mental health choose to be happy choose to be sober and then vitu zingine uh, unaweza jenga pole pole what you cannot what you cannot what you cannot uh, build is a relationship ambapo kwamba wewe ume damage but you and your spouse you are able maybe to make other plans to make more money and when that business collapsed it is a lesson ambayo Mungu akikujalia ukianza ingine the decisions that made to that collapse including maybe trusting a spouse you will not do it again kwa sababu kule nyuma ishaku ishaku adhibu then you are becoming more more cautious in how you are handling it in the in the future so maybe kwa sasa na kwa sababu ya muda uh, mheshimiwa tuseme hivyo but uh, we can engage some more uh, on this in the in, in the coming topics asante Thank you so much Mr. Mwachausa and uh, the fellow facilitators tonight. Uh, up to this moment I would like to appreciate each and every one of us by either uh, kuwa an, a very active uh, listener or maybe by throwing in questions and comments here and there. With this uh, let us also invite uh, many of us so that we can have the the benefit of getting these mental health uh, issues freely to build our lives for tomorrow otherwise from my end i thank you so much and i wish you all the best have a good night and god bless you until next week on tuesday the same time on this platform thank you <laughs>